Hello friends, Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com bringing you another recipe. Today we're going to be cooking some Caribbean stew fish and this is what it's going to look like when it's all done. Um, for this recipe we'll need a couple pounds of fish. I had no choice but to use uh, sea bass because that's all I had in my freezer. However, traditionally uh, stuff like jackfish, uh, kingfish, uh, Spanish mackerel, something with a bit more body and something that can withstand the cooking process um, is used. Um, what I did here, I cut it up into about two, three, about two inch pieces, I guess, and I rinsed it out with some lime juice and some water, drained it, and then I seasoned it with um, uh, some green seasoning, onions, scallions, tomato, uh, dash of black pepper, um, salt. The full recipe can be found at CaribbeanPot.com, as always. Um, you give that a good stir, and then you allow it to marinate for a couple hours. Um, put it in the fridge, cover it because the onions and the garlic, everything may leave back a bit of a scent in the fridge. So try and cover it with some plastic wrap or something and allow that to marinate for a couple hours, as I said. Um, the next step is to fry the fish. So we're going to give it a quick fry. And what we're going to do, we're going to get about a quarter of a cup of flour and, and shake all the seasoning off the pieces of fish and then roll it in the, uh, the flour. And to that, we're going to add it to about, I think, one or two cups of uh, just vegetable oil, uh, medium-high heat. Allow that to fry, to cook for about a couple minutes on each side. Uh, just something quick. We just want to give it a bit of a crust and, and, and so the fish stays together in, during the stewing process. Um, after it's cooked on one side for a couple of minutes, toss it over to the other side and allow it to cook again for another couple of minutes. Then... Allow that to drain on paper towels or something, anything that will soak up the majority of the, um, the oil that it was fried in. Um, uh, after which, we're going to heat up um, a pan with about one tablespoon of oil, um, vegetable oil, uh, olive oil, whatever works for you. I, I prefer olive oil. Um, and you add it to a saucepan. To that, now you're going to add all the seasoning that, was, that you used to marinate the the fish in, like the tomatoes, the onions, everything else in there um, that was there. You you add it to the pan, allow it to cook for a couple minutes, and then you add some tomato paste. I use, I think, one tablespoon of tomato paste. If you don't have tomato paste and you have Caribbean browning, add a few drops. I'm guessing maybe a quarter teaspoon of uh, Caribbean browning. Add it to it. And then you're going to add maybe about a quarter or a half a cup of water bring it up to a nice sauce medium heat again and then you're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna add the pieces of fish that we cooked earlier now be very careful because remember you're, you're using fish here it can fall apart on you um, you put it in you, you toss in the fish in there gently and then you um, you uh, cover the pot allow it to cook for a few more minutes uh, toss it over so everything gets incorporated with that wonderful sauce we just made and that's about it it takes um, it doesn't take that long to cook. The marinating process is where the majority of the time is. It's a lovely dish with rice, with roti. Um, just about anyhow you eat fish traditionally, um, you can use this um, this way of cooking it. Enjoy, guys. Remember, the full recipe can be found at CaribbeanPod.com.